Hey folks, Steve here with you once again. How you doing? Today we're going to do something different. An experiment. I'm going to take this stainless steel knife. We're going to take this mustard and we're going to throw them both in the glow forge. So, there's a uh, thing going around and uh, experiments being done with these things. On Will putting mustard on this make it engrave? Well, it will not engrave. However, it will mark it, or it may mark it, if, if you do it right. And that's what we're going to try to do today. We're going to see if we can get something on this stainless steel, the blade part. Uh, obviously, we could engrave the, the wood part. We're going to see if we can get something on the, uh, on the blade part uh, with the mustard. Uh, this, I guarantee, will not engrave without something on it. So if it engraves at all, then the mustard works. If it doesn't, then we know that that's a, a failure. So we're going to try that. So first thing we're going to do is get our isopropyl alcohol. Trust me, this is isopropyl alcohol. The drug facts are all in the back there. I don't know why the label is off of this one, but it is. And we're going to get our handy microfiber cloth. I'm going to tilt the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. We are just going to clean the blade. We're only going to engrave on this side. As you can see, there is engraving on that side. It does say stainless steel. It's hard to see with the reflections. There it is. Uh, Royal Norfolk. This is from Dollar Tree. Um, from what I understand, this works best with stainless steel. I don't know if it will work with other metals or not, but we're going to try cleaning the blade first just to give us our maximum potential when we put the mustard on. Now we'll go dry it. Okay. So now we're going to get the mustard. I'm going to take a little clean brush. Now this is, as you can see, just great value, which is dollar, uh, excuse me, Walmart brand. From what I understand, we're going to flip it back so you can see what's going on here. From what I understand, less is more with this. So we don't need a lot. I just put a little bit on there. I'm going to coat the whole blade, and we want a very thin coat. This may be even too much. And we're only going to do one side of the blade. I've wiped the blade off so I can get even less. Like I said, from what I understand, you can see there's a slight coating on there. Not much at all. You don't want big clumps of mustard. Uh, be and part of the reason is because the laser, when it focuses, will focus on the higher clump and it won't engrave as well from what I understand. So put the lid back on the mustard that can go back in the refrigerator. I also understand this works best with just your regular household mustard. Uh, Grey Poupon also works from what I've heard. I don't know. haven't tried it yet. So we're going to switch you over to the Glowforge and I'm going to put this in there. using two pieces of M this just MDF which is multi or mix medium density fiberboard and I'm doing that under the blade like this so that the blade just stays up and is in uh, in the same position all the time without leaning down so as you can see it's just in a nice, stable position. All right. The engrave on this one probably won't be exciting to watch uh, because it's small. <laughs> we'll uh, go ahead and go over to app.glowforge.com where we always start. We're going to hit the... Uh, we're just going to do new design this time. Let me get my pointer going here so you guys can see where I'm at. We're just going to do new design and probably just type in something in text to see what we got. Dancing script looks nice. Uh, how about my name? We'll see what that looks like. It's kind of nice. First, after, before we do much of anything else, we make sure our focus is set. I like to set focus this way. You can also, if you know the height of the blade, uh, in this 
instance, it's just over a quarter inch, but I'm not because of the, the two pieces of MDF are eighth inch each. So that makes a quarter inch plus the blade uh, width, but I'm not going to do it that way. But you can go here, hit use uncertified material and put your, uh, your height in there in inches, or I think you can change that to millimeters too. But in my instance, I accidentally uh, hit focus way up there. It's not going to focus because I did that. But in my instance, I like to set the focus with the camera. It works better for me. It may not work as well for you. So that's up to you. It's not going to focus because I did it right on the bed. And it'll say uh, down here, it'll, it'll give me a message. You can't see it because I'm in the way. Let's move me. There you go. Error because, you know, I'm in the uh, I have the wrong size. But we'll do that again to make sure we're good. We're going to set the focus here. While we're doing that, we're going to go enter our settings. We are going to go engrave. Manual. We are going to put our, we're going to put our speed way down. We're going to try 255 and we're going to go full power. Uh, Lines branch is just a quality issue. Uh, if you want no quality, you put it on 10. If you want super high quality, you put it on 1355. We leave it at 225 most of the time. Okay, so it did work this time. It says print up there so you know it's good. So now we'll place our artwork right there. Make it a little smaller. And the one thing I do need to do is go two passes on here. Uh, the, most of the tutorials on online or on YouTube say two passes, so we're going to try it. Uh, wanted to try this for a while because I've seen people do it. And then the qualities come out differently. So from what I've seen, the, uh, the slower the speed seems to be a little bit better for quality purposes. So we're going to go ahead and hit print. If it's not that long, we'll stay with it. If it is a little bit longer, I'll speed the video up. We'll see how long. shouldn't be long at all, to be honest with you, because it's just a small print. 5 minutes, 55 seconds. And that is because we have put the speed way down. So I'll speed the video up for the rest of this. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hit the button. folks there you see it does look like it's done something uh, now obviously you got to clean the mustard off and that may change the way that looks but we're gonna go get it out of there um, try cleaning it off with some isopropyl if that doesn't work I'll take it out to the sink This is what it looks like. It's nice and dark, but when we clean that, that may change. We'll see. Mustard's pretty hardy, so I don't know if isopropyl will cut it. There's still a lot on the rag, but we're going to do it again. Always clean with the blade away from you. Uh, don't want to try to do it that way. It'll catch the thing and probably cut you. Feels like it's cleaning. A bit grubby right there. Mustard does not like to clean up. It's quite a hearty little substance. But as you can see, that stayed. That's pretty good. Let's uh, get a dry rag. Looks like all the mustard's off. There's imperfections in this thing because it's a Dollar Tree knife. But that came out really nice. You can actually feel it. 
Now, this is not engraving. This is marking. Uh, you cannot engrave stainless steel or any other metal on the uh, Glowforge. Most lasers cannot. Uh, your diode lasers and your CO2 lasers, most of them cannot. Uh, there are lasers that can. But when you use a substance such as mustard, and there are sprays that do this, one's called Brilliance, and there's there's other ones that do a really good job. But man, that, that came out nice. Now, would I do this for a customer? I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> that is uh, a fine engraving. We're going to do a couple little tests on it here just to make sure it's actually there. And when I say engraving, I mean marking, of course. This is a razor knife. So it's not just on top, it's uh, it's in there. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's still, still there. Now I don't know the longevity of doing it this way. Uh, that's pretty cool. We could try, uh, I don't know that if you can get more intricate than this either. I'm sure you can. Um, I've seen other people do it. But that is pretty doggone cool. So, razor knife, stainless steel, or not razor knife, uh, mustard, stainless steel, and a pretty decent engraving if you ask me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you saw, hit that like button down below. There's a subscribe button as well with a little bell. If you hit the bell and hit all, you get all the notifications of when I'm going live. And if you're in the market for a Glowforge yourself, there is a link down there that will save you up to $500 depending on the model. And it will get me a little bit too because that is a referral link. Thanks for watching. You all have a good day.